Okay. Good morning, our presenters and participants. Welcome to the Virtual Vitisol International Convention 2021. On behalf of the organizing committee, we would like to thank you so much for your participation and contribution to our annual convention success. We are Hong Yun from T School and Duke Ang from Bing University will be the presentation moderator today. We are delighted to see all of you in, in live virtual present today, especially in this live workshop. We do hope that all of you will be able to have some valuable knowledge and experience at takeaways following the talk. Before the presentation, there are a few considerations in case you have any questions or concerns about the presentations, please feel free to leave them in the comment section in the live stream or chat box in Zoom so that we can gather the question for easy response in the five or 10 minutes Q&A sections. We glad welcome Mr. Fat Van Kang, a, a passionate and professional EFL lecturer working for the faculty of foreign language at Ho Chi Minh City University of Technology and Education. He holds his MA in TESOL from University of Southern Queensland. And um, please welcome Mr. Hang. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Ms. Nyung, for your very nice introduction about me. Uh, Okay, again, my name is Swaman Khan and I come from the Faculty of Foreign Languages, Ho Chi Minh City University of Technology and Education. And I'm ex super excited to be here today to present to you um, um, a topic in translation, teaching and learning that is collaborative video making of self-acting and subtitle translating in the course of IT translation. So uh, the outline of uh, my presentation is divided into several parts. First with uh, introduction and follow, followed by uh, literature review. Uh, next up is methodology. And the next part is findings. And last but not least, that is discussion and teaching uh, impl implications. So, for the introduction, as we all know, translation is an obvious act of communication, a useful skill, not just for professional translators and interpreters, but also for academic community and how to teach the student uh, successfully and effectively in terms of translation teaching is a hard question. So how to keep them motivated, how to keep them involved in the in the class is a really big issue. So um, project-based learning in translation emerges as a very effective approach dif among different approaches, because according to Lamer and Merchant Dollar in 2010, they told that uh, project-based learning in translation is, is authentic and realistic to the student. So that I chose project-based learning in uh, in this research. And the research gap here is that although there have been investigations on projects-based learning in translation and teaching, little has been done in the field of IT translation. And the research questions are as follows. The first question uh, I would like to investigate here is how do the students perceive the project? And the second one is what are the benefits and problems that the students can have in the project? And how does social media platform affect students' project? So uh, some literature review about translation studies. So as we all know, translation is a craft consisting in the, the attempt to replace a written message or a statement in the one language by the same message or a statement in another language. So translation in interpretation play an indisputable role in globalization, internationalization, and intercultural contact in the 21st century. 
project-based learning is a comprehensive aspect of uh, emphasizing on teaching by getting the students involved in the investigation so the students will learn by doing. So throughout the term learning by doing. So I think that is the most suitable term to describe this. To inspire students effectively, the teacher should uh, first create learning opportunities by accommodating students with adequate information resources. The second thing is to enhance learning by scaffolding guidance on more feasible, more feasible work, like the teacher need to provide enough uh, guidance. And the next one is uh, to get students interested in using metacognition in learning. And the last one is to supervise progress, uh, diagnose issues and give comments and evaluation so that the students can feel that oh, they are not lonely. They are well supported by the teacher and they have more confidence in taking up the project. For subtitling, uh, since a great number of viewers will still rely on uh, subtitles, enjoying the film frame by frame. So subtitle is very meaningful in terms of helping them keeping up with the film content very easily. So translation for film subtitles is a distinctive and interesting process that cannot be seen in other translation work. So this is quite unique. About collaboration, uh, collab collaborative video making, uh, that is, you know, like the combination of technology and pedagogy potentially makes class experiences more joyful, more memorable, and motivating for both teachers and learners. And students can be challenged in an intellectual way when working on a task integrating technology tools. So I design my research uh, following a mixed method research design with a sequential explanatory strategy that include quantitative uh, data collection before qualitative data collection. So the quantitative data collection here, I, I used a survey, a questionnaire to a uh, five Likert scale to uh, investigate the student's opinion. And after that, for qualitative data collection, I used uh, an interview, an in-depth interview uh, with the groups that did, uh, that took the took up the project. The research participants in my research were 18 third year students majoring in translation in interpretation. Uh, they are all come from the Faculty of uh, Foreign Languages at the Ho Chi Minh City University of Technology and Education. And uh, as I asked them to self-rate themselves in terms of levels of competence, uh, computer competency, they reported to be from mostly moderate to rarely excellent. Some of them are taking uh, the second major in uh, IT. In IT apart from uh, their first major, that is English. And their age, their ages are uh, ranked from 20 to 21. So before uh, the course of IT translation, they completed the course of translation theories. Uh, now continue, I would like to talk about the uh, uh, research procedure. So as we, we know, uh, you know, in, for the course of translation, of IT translation, it lasted 15 weeks. Uh, I chose to conduct my research in the week number nine because uh, I have the I in I had the intent intention that after like uh, from one from eight weeks of studying, the students are well prepared for their project with their adequate knowledge and also their skill. Of translation. And um, in the week number nine, I gathered a student to for an orientation and grouping. So every detail about the project from assessment, evaluation, uh, how to uh, use the technology, how to sort out for um, text for their translation, I uh, informed them of this very well. 
in advance so that they can be uh, confident. And uh, next up is their first translation. Uh, their first translation will based on the text that they will choose themselves and translate it from English into Vietnamese. And then uh, after their first translation, they will send it to me. And that is what we call first translation submission. And uh, uh, I will give them some corrective feedback on the first translation. And after that, I will get it back to their, uh, to them. And after my feedback, they will have, they will uh, try to work again in the group uh, to finalize their trans, uh, for finalize their submission, uh, finalize their finalize their translation. I'm sorry, uh, that is for second translation submission. And uh, and uh, after that, they will make a video with their group members acting uh, in the video with the content that they. Uh, translated and after that after their that so they self acted with their uh, with their with their members in the group and um, they will uh, so everything they did that by themselves like they will they would thought they would they would think of the script uh, the scenario so everything were included in the video and then they embedded embedded the, the subtitle, I mean, that the, the translation into their video. And uh, after that, they will get their, they would get their pro project published on uh, social media. Uh, and here I chose Facebook because this is quite common uh, for getting share lies, I mean, for uh, feedback from the audience to promote the students uh, motivation. Uh, and this is uh, believed to be the most significant uh, thing about my research. And uh, for, uh, last in the week 14, I, um, I give them the final feedback and the scores. So here is the scoring. So for the first translation, uh, the main aim of this project, right? So um, it is quite important to evaluate their quality of translation. So it accounts for 50% and 20% for their tra second translation. Another 20% is for their video making. And the last one that is social media, just 10%. And here are some findings uh, in my research. So uh, regarding students' perception prior to the project, so there was some presumption prior to the project that the student reported. They, I asked them whether they think uh, this would be very challenging to them to make video uh, and add in subtitles. And then they say, uh, not many of them say yes. So this is a very positive uh, per, uh, perception from the students. They, 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 they said that they were not afraid of being able to uh, no, like they, they are very confident in making a good videos of news due to, uh, yeah. And um, they were really fascinating, fascinated about showing the work to the public. And generally they, they did believe that they would be definitely successful in completing the task as a group. And uh, the students perception after the project they overall, they overall think that this project-based learning activity is very applicable in translation teaching and learning. Uh, they felt so excited about combining the translation with the making of video. So many of them reported to me that they, it is more interesting to make a video and act in it, uh, to make a video of news they they feel like at it, they feel like they they are news presenter there so it is more interesting than just only translating subtitle of an available video as usual so as i can see many others uh, many other projects uh, adopted this approach like translating the subtitle of an available video so i think we need uh, i needed to change a little bit i mean adjust to the research, uh, to the, the project. And I made it asking the students uh, make, to make the videos themselves. Uh, 
there are some benefits that the students could gain from the project. The first one is about knowledge. So they could enhance their research ability. So they did research a lot to choose the suitable resources of the text and uh, ask me for advice. And then uh, they could have widened their knowledge about many fields related to IT when doing with the research on chosen topics for translation. It's not all about IT only, but maybe they will choose some pieces of information uh, that is related to advertisement in terms of uh, promoting the IT gadget, for example. And um, they could increase their vocabulary in the, in the field. This is the most significant, uh, you see, this is the highlight in terms of knowledge. And uh, they could improve and develop their tech skills as well. Many of them were really afraid that uh, they could not uh, uh, deal with their tech, low tech skill, but then everything was just pretty good after my guidance. So uh, another benefit that the student could gain from the project is their translation enhancement. So they have successfully applied previous translation techniques that they could gain from weeks number two to week number nine into their project. And uh, they were more motivated to focus on the work because they have to publish, they have to publicize uh, their product on the social media. So this is the reason why I, I asked them to uh, publish their video and they could make their translation better than usual thanks to the group members uh, cross check and feedback. So they helped each other very much. Uh, in terms of uh, teamwork skills, uh, in general, they could develop teamwork skills better. They could collaborate with each other in the group effectively. They could learn and apply problem solving skills success successfully and improve their time management skill better. Uh, in relation to learning motivation, all overall, they felt really excited about the project uh, because they were allowed to decide on their uh, topic for, them, for their translation. And they found the video making very interesting, especially when the gathering news, acting and translating the subtitles in the video. And they feel like they are really professional. You uh, and they felt really excited about uh, their publicizing video on Facebook as a result of hard work waiting for the feedback from the audience. Uh, one of the student uh, report uh, like shared with me that uh, during the night of, uh, during the night she uh, shared a video on Facebook. Um, her mom laughed a lot and watched the video again and again. And after, the, after all, they felt this project made themselves more motivated to learn the subject. So uh, I will end up with uh, some discussion and teaching implementations when taking the project, uh, when conducting the project. So after all, from the interview with the students and the uh, survey with the students, the students' be a strong belief in the success of their projects was uh, reported. Uh, so their feeling of excitement was another significant thing in the project, thanks to a fantastic project beyond their imagination. And uh, although there was some uh, little, some students with little anxiety, I encouraged them very much and uh, guided them very carefully. So they, I mean, that I walked them through the rain so they could uh, feel really confident after all. And uh, some application and software of making the video and embedded, uh, embedding uh, subtitles needed in the, the orientation meeting. This is very important. Like we scaffold uh, with the necessary things in order for them to take up the uh, project confidently. So the teacher should be the model as well. If he is not, if he or she is not really confident in uh, her or his tech skill, then uh, maybe uh, he or she will uh, like take advantage. I mean, ask the high tech skill students assistant, uh, 
in the class for assistance uh, because there were there was a very surprising thing to me that uh, two two the two of the students uh, shared that they they were taking another I mean that another uh, major apart from their their English major that is IT so I think that we can make use of this and uh, also the teacher assistance is really highly appreciated some many many students reported that they were well informed uh, of the fair assessment and also the teachers feedback making the students more confident in their translation is another advantage in this research um, and the motivation for students with the teachers empathy is really is really vital because if we cannot do that we cannot sympathize with some problems with the students uh, project uh, process sometimes they can have some uh, difficulties then we should be the good listener to them and uh, the so social media platform is a key factor uh, it is uh, reported as the pressure a little pressure and in extrinsic motivation for the students to try hard to make it the best uh, because there will be a lot of viewers on Facebook and yeah like like they have more motivation uh, however there there should be some side effect of the social media on a student's psychology uh, maybe they don't have much uh, they don't have a lot of friends on Facebook it's kind of unfair to them for example or they may be uh, afraid of not making a good video so this can uh, Neg negatively affect their uh, their product. So we also should uh, conduct some internal vote and peer evaluation in order for them to be feeling like they are being heard by the student, uh, by the teacher. They have the choice, they have the right to do that. And they feel more uh, interested. And uh, we should have some intervention with the group work when necessary because a lot, a lot of incidences will happen. Uh, and finally, I was a little bit afraid that the, the students would not be able to take up the projects very successfully. So I thought very carefully. I mean, I thought over and over very carefully, but after all surprising outcomes uh, have, um, have appeared and I really appreciate the project and the effort from the student, and uh, why don't you try this right okay so that is my um, presentation, thank you so much for your uh, attention, and if you have any questions may maybe you can ask me in a chat box and the moderator will help me, thank you very much again. Kim, uh, thank you, Mr. Kang, um, which are um, it's a, uh, such a great presentation about the very interesting uh, topic um, about teaching um, methodology. And uh, we are happy to receive some questions uh, in the chat box right now. Uh, we have, okay, can you tell us uh, the app uh, teachers uh, or uh, your student use for subtitle. Okay, so I have prepared uh, this for you. Uh, like we have different tools on uh, on the internet, I, I mean, but uh, the things that the students used and I guided them to use were here. Let's just wait for me a minute. I'm going to show you at the end of this. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, again, I'm going to share with you. Like for uh, the subtitles, uh, em like in uh, embedded, right? So we use I I sub. Sorry for my bad pronunciation. Or you can also use uh, YouTube because there is a function that you can uh, make use of in YouTube that you can add in the uh, subtitles as well. 
it's very convenient for you. And also for video uh, making and uh, editing, we can use uh, Movie Maker Online, Clip Charm, or uh, We Video Online Video Cutter. So there are a wide range of choice for you. So I think that these are the keywords. Then you can make you you may have um, um, an extensive uh, research on these terms, right? And then you will get to know about this. I think that they will very be, they will be very helpful for you. Yeah, thank uh, thank you, Mr. King, for your share uh, no, for the lead you share, uh, Terrace. Um, I I found some like uh, uh some interesting art to to make the video, um because I also enjoy uh, a little bit uh, um video making. Okay, another question for. Uh, our present uh, presenter uh, presenter today from uh, the lady. I'm not sure about the maybe the email address. Um, he or she uh, asked for uh, ask if uh, you teach a uh, student how to make video. Um, that means is there any uh, instruction or any guiding list for your student to make video or they do them for themselves uh of course so the best practice should be the teacher will be the model but i were not i i mean that i was not the model then uh with just some guidelines i mean that with uh, with the app here applications here right i i i inform them of the applications then they automatically i mean that the students just believe me or not you cannot believe that right the students are really really uh creative and they can take it very easy i mean um and of course we we should have some guidelines I mean, there's some criteria to uh, assess the student's uh, product. Like after all, uh, we have to have the clear rubrics or uh, the um, the assessment criteria in order to evaluate their videos. So uh, I asked some, no, I mean that in the previous subject, not IT translation, we also conducted some uh, some kind of uh, video making project this 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 is the first time i apply video making in it translation and uh my suggestion is that we can show the product of the previous groups to the current students so that they can know what to do maybe we'll suggest oh this is the problem this is a good point of this group or this is a highlight of uh this video so you can uh, learn something from this then you can uh, follow this, right? Uh, this is this group earned ten, uh, nine marks for their previous project, and this group earned five marks, so that they can know very uh, quite clear, quite clearly about the assessment uh, based on the the criteria. I mean, that the rubrics that they sent, we sent it, we we sent to them. Okay, so I see that. Now, now your teaching job here uh, at this um at this uh, project uh is quite mainly for uh, assessing uh marking the student uh performance in a translation uh term right so maybe uh, um the the way they uh, they uh, get familiar with there's uh, some uh, some app to m uh, some some app embedding subtitle is uh, the student job and we uh, have I, yeah. Uh, yeah i'm sorry just continue please okay i'm, I'm just uh i just uh, see some comments uh, sharing with um, our presenter today is uh, the workload from the student but i i can see that uh, the student from the uh, 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 SMC University of uh, Technology and Education very create, uh, creative and proactive in uh, um, making um, learning some new app, new technologies, right? 
So uh, we still uh, hope uh, that uh, our presentation, our presenter today, can share with us about some uh, like some exam, some sample uh, to uh, about the uh, guiding guiding student to making some video. Now, actually, uh, before the project, I asked the students for advice about the idea of the project, and they say most of them say yes to the project. I mean, so they. Uh, I, I was afraid that they could not make it, but then they reported to me that, oh, this is quite familiar with me. I made a lot of uh, TikTok video, for example, or I, I we, 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 we have been conducting, I mean, I'm making a lot of videos in other subjects. So just don't worry about that. And some of the students are really good at high tech. Uh, I mean, that's technology skill. Then they can help the others in their groups. So this is not a really big concern. <laughs> okay, so, uh, special thank for our great um, for our um, for your uh, great uh, presentation today, and uh, we really highly appreciate uh, for your contribution. And uh, any any more uh, question or concern, please contact to our presenter today. So it's time for it's time for um, to end. Of, um, our like workshop today. So um, really uh, thank you to all the participation and uh, uh, our speaker today. Thank you very much for the team and thank you so much for your attention.